Hey guys, today we have the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 and Juliet 5 combo pack. The Romeo 5 is the XDR series, but let's see what's inside the box. We got a couple manuals here and there. We have the Juliet 5 5 power optic. We'll also have the Sig Sauer Romeo 5 XDR. A couple different mounting shims right here to change the height battery. A couple of the mounting hardware as well. We have an Allen key and also a little tiny tool set right here so that we can actually mount it onto our weapon systems. And what we will be mounting this onto will be this 300 blackout PDW build. So we shall see how well she operates. Good thing we have this half inch tool here in order to actually get this thing torqued down. They make it really easy by using these beautiful AAA batteries. Easy to find, you don't really have to go around the internet and try to find some uh, CR2032s or whatnot. But with AAA batteries like these, you can go to any gas station and just get those things nice and easily. And with everything installed, this looks absolutely stunning. Now taking a closer look at this beautiful couple, we have Romeo and Juliet. We have the Romeo 5 XDR and the Juliet 5 5 times magnifier. Both of them are constructed from aircraft grade aluminum and both of them are going to be IPX7 rated. So they are going to be nice and fog proof and also waterproof as well. Starting off, we have the Romeo 5 XDR. The Romeo 5 XDR will have a two one way dot followed by a 65 MOA ring around, which is going to be cyclable, so you can turn it off whenever you want to, just in case it gets a little bit too busy on the screen. It is also going to be powered by a single AAA battery, which is a lot more convenient than trying to find those 2032 batteries or 1632 button cell batteries. In terms of adjustments, we're getting 100 MOA's worth of windage adjustment and also another 100 MOA's worth of elevation adjustment. The negative that I actually have about that right now is that it is going to be one click for one MOA. So in terms of micro adjustments, you're not really getting any micro adjustments. Other competitors out there will often give you roughly about a quarter or a half MOA per click adjustment. However, with these Romeo 5s, they are going to be a full MOA. So you're getting one whole inch per click at 100 yards. Now in terms of uh, what I built this thing for, it's perfect for what I actually need it for. I don't really plan on shooting this thing past 100 yards. With this being a short range rifle, it won't affect me much whatsoever. It'll be perfectly fine in terms of accuracy for what I need it to do. Next we have the Juliet 5, five times magnifier with a large throw button here so you can actually hit it a lot easier to throw the magnifier to the side. On top of which, you're going to have a nice little focus adjustment parallax right here, which is going to be textured, making it a lot easier to make those micro adjustments as you need it for your broken eyes. The windage and elevation knobs here have roughly about 30 MOA's worth of adjustment, so you have plenty to make those micro adjustments there. Sig Sauer even threw in a couple of these little tiny shims in order to make a couple adjustments here and there in case you want to use this magnifier for something else a little bit later. Really kind of them to do so. Now if we take a closer look at the reticle, we can see there's almost no shift in parallax whatsoever. Mind you, this is roughly about 10 yards I want to say, so it's not too super far, but knowing what we know about reticles, reticles are a little bit more accurate when they're a little bit further off. Now as far as settings, if you hold the plus and minus buttons, you will be able to turn off that 65 MOA ring. However, holding it back again, it will be able to turn it back on. It's up to you, it's all personal preference. If it is too busy for you, then turn it off. If it's not busy enough, then just turn it back on. Now in terms of the brightness settings, I misspoke earlier, I said it was eight. However, it is actually 10 settings for the day settings and then two settings for the night settings. So with the night vision, almost invisible here. Now screwing around with the reticle a little bit, everyone wants to see how it looks magnified. So when we plop that little bad boy over there, you can see that there's still no parallax shift whatsoever. The eye relief right here is roughly about three inches away from the uh, camera angle. Now, zooming back a little bit, that's when you start getting that fish eye. 
but I'm counting this one at roughly about two and a half or three inches or so. So regular, I really floor most AR-15s. It does seem to work pretty darn well. As you can see, it's a little bit tinted, but that tinting actually does aid in you being able to see that red dot a little bit. If you didn't have that tint there, uh, there could be a chance for that red dot to do uh, what's known as like a washout. And now we are going to test out the whole MOTAC shake awake feature, okay? Uh, the book does say it will stop at uh, roughly about 120 seconds, which is about two minutes. So we are going to test this theory and start it up and see how accurate it is. And there you have it. it. Turned itself off. I think I started a little bit earlier, but it did turn itself off. Now, last thing that we're going to test out on that, we're going to see how sensitive this thing is, okay? I'm just going to give it a gentle wiggle, see if it actually turns itself on. And it absolutely does turn itself back on pretty darn quickly. Let's take it to the range. Now taking a look at the target right there, I set it out to roughly about 50 yards or so, so it's a little bit hard to see. It is a fairly small target, but that's where the Juliet 5 comes into play. With the Juliet 5, you can clearly see everything nice and neatly. Set the uh, brightness a little bit higher, but as we go down in brightness, you can pretty much take away with a lot of that blur. In general, very, very clear field of view. I'm just having some trouble out here with the lighting, but it's going pretty darn good. Uh, let's get this thing zeroed up and then we'll see how it actually performs and hold zero. Hard to see from here, but all my shots are going consistently to the right. And now that we've confirmed our zero at the bottom left of the A zone target, it should be golden. We'll uh, test to see how consistent this is. I have roughly about 20 rounds inside this magazine, so we will continue shooting that area, see if there's any shift whatsoever. Now taking a look here, I was aiming at that nice little corner here. Uh, we got a couple flyers. I wasn't doing like super well aimed shots. And on top of that, I was using some cheap arms core ammunition and just going at it as soon as the dots were actually going on table. But as you can see, I got a couple flyers. That's probably due to me right there. You know, uh, we're all human. We screw up every once in a while, but fairly consistent so far. Now the purpose of the red dot and magnifier combo is so that with a red dot, you will be able to do closer engagements a lot easier. Uh, you have almost unlimited field of view. Uh, you have a lot of room for mistakes. Uh, however, when you need something for a little bit further off, that's when the magnifier actually does come into play. Kind of like this right here, okay? When you're going in close, en close engagements like that target right there, however, there is going to be another target out that way. You pop it over right there, and now you have yourself a good magnified optic that will shoot nice and accurately for you. Pretty simple, you know? It is pretty consistent so far. With a build like this one, I'm not trying to go past 100 yards. Everything is gonna be in close proximity, which makes the Romeo 5, Juliet 5 uh, combo pretty darn good in my book for what I need it for. Final thoughts on the Romeo 5 XDR and also the Juliet 5 combo. Definitely a must buy. It is inexpensive. It is gonna be perfect if you ever wanna do one of those budget builds, but it is a good, solid quality optic. Now in terms of this versus other optics out there, you got yourself the Holosuns, you got yourself the Vortex Spark series. It's pretty much out there. Uh, if you ever do manage to break one of these things, Six Hour does have their own version of the lifetime warranty, kinda of like Vortex does, but in this case, perfect. It rivals Vortex. We all know that Vortex does a phenomenal job in terms of warranties, but the Six Hour is up there as well. I think these things are hovering roughly around the $400 mark. So I'd say if you find one, go ahead and snag it up. These things are just great for budget builds or even just slapping it on as your primary optic also. If you've made it this far, go ahead and swing onto this website here and use this coupon code here where you can receive 10% off on all of the products that you actually have in your cart. And as always, thanks for stopping by.